Graham Dargy here with episode 5 of my Safari Diary. Uh, straight into it today. I'm um, going to do this in two parts today. I'll just tell you quickly about the morning and we'll see what happens in the evening drive and I'll update you about that later. Uh, just want to say thanks for the interest in the videos. Again, it's really cool to see all the shares and all the comments and likes. Uh, it means a lot. Um, okay, quick summary of this morning. You might have gathered it's been a really busy few days, uh, just like one thing after the other the last few days. Uh, since we got here and from before we got here with the flight so what we needed today was a gentler start to the day and that's what we got so we did go on a game drive this morning um, and it was just a bit less action packed but still really interesting and uh, we came across uh, some giraffes uh, that was the first thing we saw it was the first proper giraffe setting that we've had really uh, where they were all sort of mingling about there's quite a lot of them and they were eating some trees or bushes and uh, so we got to spend some time just watching them really and it was just they move really slowly and nicely and they just eat and they just look and they don't do much and they move so really relaxing to be around actually and i think it was just what we all needed so we spent some time with the giraffes and then off we went <clears throat> and we also had a nice sighting of some elephants quite a big herd of elephants same as the giraffes they're just milling about eating big elephants and quite a few baby elephants which everybody loved to see so we, we got quite close to those guys. Uh, the other thing which was quite interesting was a, quite a decent sized herd of buffalo. <clears throat> Not the most interesting animal to me, um, but what was interesting was the these little birds which were called, ah, oh, the names escaped me, I'll update you later. Um, the names escaped me, but the birds were on the buffalo kind of picking off the flies and ticks off the buffalo. So they'd sit on the back and they'd sit on the head and they'd sit on the face and they'd go on the ear. It was really good to watch and we were quite close so we could start a little bird but we were quite close and we managed to see it really well. Beautiful little thing and it's just been a really restful morning actually. Um, <clears throat> had a decent one-to-one -one with one of the group which was really good. I, I love the one-to-ones. I think it's my strongest area just to get into it and uh, go deep with people. Having a bit of a rain shower just now. It's just come on. There's lots of uh, thunder and rain. Um, and it's lunchtime, so I'm going to go in at the restaurant just now, and we'll be back in the car at half past three again. So I'll add a bit more to this video later on. Okay, so okay. the afternoon drive today, uh, the first thing that we saw uh, was a cheetah in amongst some grass. Uh, we were driving along the road, and Ken, the driver, uh, I could see him looking, like he was looking really intensely, and I said, there's a cheetah in, those, in the grass over there between those two bushes. Uh, I'm telling you, it was 50 meters away and none of us could see anything and he swore there's a cheetah in between those, uh, the, that grass so he took us around a corner and got a good bit closer uh, and even when we got quite a bit closer we were all looking through our cameras and we could barely barely make out this cheetah like tiny in the distance um, just a testament to the incredible eyes that uh, Ken's got amazing um, so moving on from there <clears throat> Uh, we had a sighting of some ostriches which was kind of fun and just next to that um, we saw some more cheetahs and uh, there are these cheetahs who hang about together that are known as the five brothers so they seem to be on the prowl again they were kind of in the distance but we could just make them out moving through the long grass their backs just kind of moving above the grass uh, there was a topi a couple of topis on the horizon and it seemed like they were might be making a move on that so we were able to sit and observe them for maybe half an hour um, <clears throat> And they didn't make the move in the end, but it was really fascinating to actually just sit and watch how they were moving and the idea that they might go for it. So that was pretty exciting. Moving on from there, uh, we saw lots of birds, uh, vultures. We saw at one point, I think, three species of vultures in just a very short space next to each other. Uh, I think there were seven birds in total, seven vultures in total, uh, just kind of hanging about there. <coughs> Um, lots of other birds. I've got a good sighting of some uh, gazelles and palas, topies, heart beasts. And um, yeah, so really varied today. And a bit like this morning, nice and gentle this afternoon. Nothing, not too much charging around and bumpy, bumpy stuff. So it was an, a nice, it's been a nice kind of chilled day today. I've um, got some questions to answer from the internet. Jane asked uh, about our safari vehicle having windows and how that is to photograph through the windows. So you might have seen. Um, the video from the rain from yesterday, uh, the, the vehicle is actually open sided so it doesn't have windows on the side, it has a front window and a back window and the roof is open as well uh, but it has sort of rain covers that can come down 
when the rain uh, starts. So, um, and that's how we get by that. Emma asked uh, what the favourite animal was the photograph. So I've bounced this off the, the group and I have some answers. So Jill said the buffalo was a pleasant surprise. That was better to photograph than she thought it would be. Um, more detail and they're better characters than they thought than she thought they would be. Uh, Nula said she enjoyed photographing the elephants. <clears throat> Kathleen said the leopard sighting yesterday was her favourite thing. Um, how majestic the leopard was. I was sitting up out of the grass. Audrey said the cheetahs and Ian, uh, who's really into the birds, said that the vulture sighting today that I just described was his favourite thing to photograph. So, best bit for today, just the chance to spend a bit more time uh, with the animals, really. Uh, just watch them, watch their behaviour, try you know, to see what they're getting up to. Um, it's quite relaxing and it's just a nice thing to do, just not just to have a camera pressed to your face all the time, but to sit in the environment and enjoy what's happening in front of you. And uh, lesson learned today, there's a lot of diversity here. We think about the big animals, um, you know the ones, but there's so much diversity in the Mara. I understand there's over 400 species of birds and uh, there's so many different um, antelopes. We were just talking about that at dinner and loads of other stuff. So it's, it's uh, once you you sort of got past the big animals, um, you can have the and we have the time this week to really look at all these other animals carefully. I want to thank everybody again for the likes and comments. Thank you, Alien, for wishing me to get well. Um, I feel fine. It's just my voice is a bit hoarse. Um, going to encourage you to like and share this. Please share it. It's really good for me to get the word out about this one. It really makes a difference to me. Um, so thanks again and I've got more updates to come tomorrow. I'll see you then.